UFC 210 brings us the rematch of Daniel Cormier and Anthony Johnson. Cormier is the defending champion and Johnson has been licking his chops at a rematch. As you might recall, Johnson knocked down Cormier in the first bout, but Cormier recovered and eventually submitted Johnson. The co-main event of the evening will be a bout between a struggling Chris Whiteman and a veteran Gerard Mizasi. All of the action will take place at the Keyback Center in Buffalo, New York. This will be the first course since the state of New York lifted the ban on professional mixed martial arts. It's the second time that Buffalo has hosted the UFC and the first time in over 20 years. The UFC 210 Cormier vs. Johnson 2 is coming up Saturday, April 8, 2017 at 10 p.m. Eastern Time at the Key Bank Center in Buffalo, New York, and you can watch the main card on pay-per-view. For the night heavyweight bout between Daniel Cormier and Anthony Johnson. Daniel Cormier is 18-1 in his career and he has won five of his last six fights. He's been very successful overall and he has been very successful of late. However, one thing to keep in mind is that he's no young pup. Cormier is now 38 years old, so he is in the twilight of his career, even if his performances have not indicated that. Johnson comes into this bout also having won 5 of 6, but he's just 22-5 overall. He's a powerful striker and he will try to keep this fight standing, just as he did in the previous bout when he knocked Cormier down. The issue is that Cormier is savvy to that and will get this fight to the ground, as he did last time before submitting Johnson. Four of Johnson's last five losses have come by submission, and that will probably be the case at UFC 210 again. Our pick for this fight is Cormier. For the middleweight bat between Chris Whiteman and Gerard Musasi. Whiteman and Musasi will meet in the co-main event in what should be a highly entertaining middleweight battle. Whiteman is the former champ at 185, but he's taken back-to-back -back knockout losses. It is always tough to rebound from those. As for Musasi, he is 31 years old, but has won four fights in a row. Musasi is always a close but no cigar type of fighter in the sense that he gets to the upper echelons, the losses against the top-notch competition. But is Whiteman in that realm? In a normal scenario, the answer is probably yes, but right now, it is hard to get where his mind is at. The price seems right on him, though, as he should have a fairly good shot to win as long as he's not haunted by his previous losses. Our big for this fight is Whiteman. For the women's strawweight bout between Cynthia Calvillo and Pearl Gonzalez. Calvillo should be concerned about her workload a little bit, as this will be her fifth bout since August, if you can't believe that. She wastes no time. Calvillo seems like the more balanced of the two fighters, so we'll stick with her. She looks like she's a fighter on the rise. Our pick for this fight is Calvillo. For the welterweight bout between Tiago Alves and Patrick Coach. This is a bout between two veterans who are nearing the end of the line. Alves has a record of 26-12, and while he has had plenty of success, having draw losses in MMA is a lot. As for Coach, he's 24-10, but has won six of his last eight fights. His last bout was a loss to Donald Zerone, though. Both fighters have decent knockout power, and neither works particularly well on the ground, so that should lead to an entertaining affair. We'll give the slight edge to Goat here, as he tends to be a little bit more accurate with his strikes. Our pick for this fight is Goat. For the lightweight bout between Will Brooks and Charles Oliveira. Brooks entered this bout at 18-2. He has won five of his last six, but is coming off a loss in October. He'll take on Charles Oliveira, who has posted a record of 21-7, but has lost three of his last four fights. This looks like it's a tough spot to go with Oliveira, given the way he's been trending. He's on a downward spiral, and he has also announced that he is expecting the birth of his first child, roughly the same time of the fight. His focus might not be there. Look for Brooks to get the win here. Our pick for this fight is Brooks. Take a look at the latest UFC betting odds available right now at Diamond Sportsbook.